Hi guys, so um, I'm sorry that I'm on my webcam, but I'm actually about to leave with my mum. We're going to go to a cemetery tour um, of a cemetery near us. It's called Warrenora Cemetery and it's um, in Sydney. And we actually have family members buried there and they have like a tour thing going on today. So um, we wanted to go and I'm actually, my mum's out at the moment and she is getting me a new memory card for my camera. So... I just thought I'd film this little intro so you guys know what's going on. So, um, if you want to, you know, see the tour of the cemetery, then keep watching. And I'm sorry, I'm sick. So is my mum. I sound disgusting. But I hope you guys like this. Okay, bye. So, we just got here and we walked past because there's actually, like, you can go into the crematorium and, um, how do you explain it? and see where they cremate people. I don't know. Um, but there's like a funeral going on. you think that you would make it so the funeral wasn't on on an open day, wouldn't you? What? People need to be buried. Oh, well, that's a good point. So, um, yeah, I don't want anyone to get mad at me who's... Uh, do you reckon I need my jacket? No. Okay. What's a dog? <laughs> I feel like such a disrespectful tourist with this. Alright, there's like a funeral going on now, guys. I'm not. goes in there but from the other side so the what I showed you before is on the other side of where I am right now and they take the ashes from this side so they lift that thing up and take the ashes out I guess I don't know this is a bit more how are you feeling about this it's interesting yeah I don't know if I'm a fan of I don't know if I like knowing the ins and outs of everything that's going on, but I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you. So these items are things that have been in people's bodies. been in people's bodies and burnt and their hip joints
final brace. We're currently going. Do you want me to not film this? No, okay. Um, we're filming my grandma, so my mum's. Well, not. That came out weird. So, we're basically. This is where we are, but um, we're going to go visit my grandma, so my mum's mum. So, that's what we're doing. And these are. What are these ones called, mum? Like. They're like little plaques. It is clean. Where is it? Oh. What does it say? First made again 1928 to 2002. Loving mother of Penny, Stafford and families. Loved and remembered all the days of our lives. Well, because she watched that show. <laughs> Is that why she got that on there, Days of Our Lives, because she watched that show? Yeah, <laughs> Good on you. Okay. So now we're going to see... Who are they? Your grandparents? <clears throat> my great-grandparents. So my mum's grandparents. So that would mean... What year did they die? That would have been a long time ago. Like, some of these are so old. Um... You can't even see the writing on them anymore. Oh yeah, is that it right there? I see them. I actually had this experience once. Should I tell them the story of when I found Barney Donna's mum's? Mum's best friends. So my godmother, her mum is actually buried here and once mum and I were here and I'd never been to her grave before and mum said, Oh, I wish I knew where her grave was so like I could, um, people are looking at me, so I could, so she could go visit it and I just said it's over here and I just walked straight to it and I've never actually been there before so, I don't know. So, this is, um, my great grandparents and so they were husband and wife. <laughs> Alice, oh my gosh, this is from 1943. Alice May Holiday died. Holloway. Holloway, sorry. Holloway died 26th of the 9th, 1943, aged 46 years. What did she die from? Diabetes. Diabetes. Gangrene. So who's, this is Nana's parents? Your grandmother's mother and father. Ah. sad so <coughs> excuse me 1940s so these were all around in like these um what are they called Great. graves were made in the 40s that one's 1943 so um, I'm going to stop filming now just because I don't know I don't want to disrespect anybody but it's such like the, um, this cemetery is so big like you guys can't even begin to understand like how big this is like it's even bigger than what you can imagine oh my gosh mum 
This is horrible. I don't even want to film it because I don't want to disrespect anyone. But it says ha it says a name and it says died 14th of August 1938, aged 17 days. That's actually horrible. 17 days old. That's that's so sad. Mm, someone died in 1943 when they were 12. So um, we are currently going to drive to this, it's called the Forget Me Not Cottage. And um, it's basically like after a funeral where you have the reception. So what's the the what? Wake. The wake. And I don't know, like I feel like I don't even want to post this footage in a video because I feel like it's somewhat disrespectful. Not disrespectful, but I mean, there's music, there's like bagpipes and a sausage sizzle. And I don't know, I just don't feel like that kind of stuff should be happening in the cemetery. I don't know. I'm weird. But we're going to this Forget Me Not Cottage now because supposedly they're having some medieval thing happening. And we're going to go watch it, so I'll film that you guys and then I want to walk around in there and have a look at some of the bigger um, headstones just to see and um, there's a guy on a kilt it's getting changed whoop whoop jokes <laughs> I don't know who he is but um yeah so like I said guys this is so big it's actually you can't even begin to understand how big this is so we're going to find a parking spot and go to this medieval thing it is yeah so yes do you want to turn around and park on that side maybe so that's what we're doing um, so yeah, I'm sorry if some of you guys have like found this disrespectful as well. Because I totally have not mentioned it to be, but I just thought it would be interesting and we didn't know what to expect, did we? No. And it's kind of weird, like, I don't know, I personally, if I had children and stuff, I would not bring them to a cemetery as an open day. Would you, Mum? No. Having said that, there's kids everywhere in prams and I just don't understand, so <coughs> we're sick. Um, so yeah, we're going to go do this medieval thing now and then probably walk around and have a look at a few of the headstones and then go. So, yeah. So we're currently waiting for this medieval thing to happen and I just thought I'd film some more of the cemetery so you guys can see just how big it is because it is actually ridiculously huge so I'm just going to keep this filming so I can see what this medieval thing is about. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's going to be a bit dumb. If it is we can just always leave hey. From the looks of it it kind of looks like they're going to be fighting and sword fighting and shit. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, there's a car. <laughs> so, um, these, this is like the front of the cemetery and so my mentality behind that was the closer to the front of the cemetery the older the tombstones will be and this one's from one of these is from 1929 so my mentality is like one closer to the front older the tombstones Some of these are so old, but you can't even see the writing on them anymore. So, like, what does that one even... Yeah, half of them you can't read. So this one's 1928. 
she was aged oh, 26 and 28. See, I was right. This is my mum, by the way, guys. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I, get, I don't get my good <laughs> Um. <coughs> Whoa. Nah, I need my sunglasses on. It's from 1925, one of these is. Some of these are so, so old. Sorry if this is boring as well, guys. So I was right, these are, so these aren't really that old, they're only from like the 20s. I would reckon the older ones would be, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh that's sad. His wife died when he was, when she was 46 and he lived till he was 87. It's like his whole life without her. Ooh. Oh this is depressing. I seriously wonder how big this is. I'm going to go online and research and tell you guys. Oh, that's horrible. Roy Henry Bolton accidentally killed 18th of September 1925, aged five and a half years. Oh my God, that's horrible. Poor little guy. Isn't that shocking? And then I get sad because you see ones like that next to that. Hmm. And it's like that JT Wilson, you don't know anything about them. No. You don't know. Do you know what I mean? Sad. Whoa. That's also sad because that's a very new one, isn't it? Okay. It is because some of the flowers aren't there. Yeah, yeah, see? They died this year. That was your age, Mum. A little bit older than you. Oh, that's really morbid. 26th of March, it's only like two weeks ago. Okay, I want to film that. Um, that's weird, I thought it was... I wonder why that, this must be a certain section. Yeah, because... Um, I'm going to go... As I was saying, um, there's like specific sections, so like if you're a Christian or you're... I don't know. Like Christians have different sections. Yeah, it's done by religion. Which is kind of weird in my opinion. I don't know why, but they do that. Oh. Seven, one. Is that a one? Seven. No, it's a one. Oh my god. That's a of our dear mum. They must have died. She must have died while giving birth or something. Because it doesn't have a different date for him. Also, our brother too. Or like in a car accident or something. So sad, but like, look how old these ones are. Hold on, gotta make it back into focus. Hold on. <coughs> yeah, like these ones. 1922. That one kind of looks like it's like a slipper. Do you know the history of like when it opened or anything? Mm. That's shocking, we should know that. It's all down there. All that information's down at the office. Because oh, I feel like I should tell them. See, this is one. Eight years old. It's so sad. Like, for some reason, when you see like children's graves, it get it, sorry, it gets to me more. Six weeks old, Mum. Mm. But this is so sad. 1923, six weeks old. Yeah. They must have heard it that really young, because 1923, that's five years before Nana was born. Mm. I'm gonna go now, but um, yeah.
Interesting fact though, they're actually running out of room in this cemetery, mm. aren't they? So they've come out with these new things where, because I don't know if you guys can tell where you can. I'm sorry if it's out of focus as well. There's like gaps, like massive gaps in between all of them. So what they're trying to do now is they're trying to make it so like, basically it's like a grave, like the outline of one and it's hollow and they're going to slot them into the ground so basically there's just going to make it so there's not as much space in between all the graves because um yeah they're running out of space so yes so also if you want to like know any information about this place um i'll link everything down below so go check it out but um i don't know how much room i have left on my camera so i'm going to go and i'll bring this out if i feel like there's something interesting so yeah i get really sad as well like the ones that are like unmarked or that are so old that their markings have completely gone and you can't even see um what the hell was that is that those medieval fighting getting into it <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, like like these ones, for example, are so old you can't even see who they were. Like they were a person, and you can't even see who they were, how old they were, because it's just so old. But it's completely worn. So um, I think we're going to go now, but. Um, yeah, I don't know, we might walk around for a little bit longer, but I don't have much room left in my camera, so. Yeah, okay, bye guys. So we're leaving now. <coughs> and we're just walking through, like, what are these, these ones called? Like, the little gardens that just have, like, the ashes. Um, because like I showed in one of my last clips. Sorry if it's been choppy as well. But um, my grandma was in one of these. We're visiting a family friend um, that's in one of these now. So I will show you his when we get to it. She died on my birthday. Mm -hmm. This guy, he was just like a family friend, wasn't he? Bruce? Yeah. I used to work with him at Grace Brothers Broadway. Well. Yeah, and he is buried, well no, he's in like one of these, he's in that one, and his wife's in that one, and it's sad because his wife died in 2002, and he was only alive for three years later, and he wasn't that sick, was he? Yeah. He just died, I guess, old people die because they... <laughs> what does that mean? Mate of what, Alice, where is the new mate of... Oh, he lived near us. That's interesting. But, um, yeah, so now they're like next to each other. That's sweet. Well, people obviously come, well, they're plastic flowers, but. What? Huh? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People obviously put them in. So, what does that flag mean again? I know, but I was going to make a good point about it, but I don't remember what it was about. This is showing a tap. This flag, 13, represents this tap here. It's number 15. Oh, 15, I can't read. <coughs> All those flags seem to have a story for the bus trip, don't they? Yeah, and now we've got past a flag. And... Oh, wait! All these ones around the ring are the oldest ones. Here we go, that's what it means. Um, that is like the office. And all of the graves that are around it are actually it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Just popping my head around the tree. The graves that are um, around the office are the oldest ones. Oh. 
but yeah I just thought that was an interesting piece of information but we're walking back to the car now so um yeah so I hope you guys have liked this video I don't know what do you have to say mum another thing on my button is that I'm cheap <laughs> hear that I don't know it's kind of an interesting experience like I mean they do it once a year so if you're in Sydney and you live near what suburbs of Sutherland come to the uh, Warrenora Cemetery because they have this open day once a year and get a free sausage sizzle and I don't know it was interesting I did get some weird feelings in the um crematorium just because you know that's where people are cremated which is a little bit morbid but I'm gonna go now so hope you guys like this video so I'm just doing one quick pan of the um cemetery before we leave just because we're about to get into our car kind of our car's a little bit farther down but, um yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us to cemetery I'm gonna go now hey they're like what's that what are they? They're obviously like... <laughs> My mum just farted on camera, guys. Oh, shut up. You didn't put that I did. She farted. This is a family vault. Oh. Wow. It's a family vault. I don't know if you guys can see. That's kind of creepy, I don't know. It's kind of interesting but kind of creepy a little bit, but it's like a little house. Let's go to the front, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, hey, where'd she go? Oh, that's obviously another one. This girl's videos that I watch, Bunny, hi, um, she did, does, did a few videos in a graveyard and she lives in Texas, mum. Yeah. And in Texas they had to um, re-cement all of their vaults up because homeless people were breaking into them and sleeping in them. But anyway, that's just a little shout out to Bunny, but I'm seriously going to go now. So this is one more can for you guys. Oh no, the car's not even near where we are. But I'll just keep filming till we get to the car. No. That I thought that sign said uncertain. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you go. You've been, been uncertain in life. You go in that uncertain area. <laughs> What's it say? Uh, unsectarian. What's so I guess mean? that means you're not anything. Oh, like you're not a specific religion. Ooh. That white thing, what is that? That's the crematorium. Yeah. So you saw that. Uncertain. That's my mum would go. She's uncertain. A bit of an uncertain. Just quietly. Yeah, I never realised um like how vlogging hurts your arm because you've got your arm lifted up. It hurts. So, oh, there's a man staring at me in the car. How's it going, buddy? Okay. He was staring at me in the car. Did you see him? So, just thought I'd give you guys a little bit more footage. Um, I think I'll want the video to end. Doesn't have to. I really am quite intrigued to know how big this is. So, what I'll do is I'll, um, Put the links and everything down below because this is massive and there's people around me and they're probably oh i'm not gonna mention what just happened you got some issues woman <laughs> you know this is going on youtube right just so you know kind of people are coming past me in cars and stuff but so i'm gonna go now I hope you guys liked this video. It's quite interesting, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.